Okay, so this is a topic that a lot of people may not know about. And it didn't really break the news. But I've known about this, you know, alleged coupling for some time. But I actually saw some photos of these two at the young lady Letitia Wright's birthday party. Are Lena Waite. And Cynthia Revo, an actual couple. And if so, did Lena Waite divorce or did Lena Waite's marriage end because of her seeing Cynthia Revo? I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to give my assessment about this because I do have some comments about it. And I have an opinion. So I am back. And if it wasn't for Lipstick Alley showcasing photos of Letitia Wright's birthday party in England, I would have completely... Totally never remember the whole Lena Waite, Cynthia Revo accusations of them being a couple. So I'm going to go back to 2020, pre pandemic era, um, era. There was an article that was written stating or asking the question if Lena Waite cheated on her wife with Cynthia Revo and that caused the separation because at the time, it was a separation. And people were really like whispering. And it wasn't like a big, 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 big um, conversation about it. Even though the articles were, you know, a good amount. There were different writers writing about it. And people were saying, you know, like the whole black, lesbian, you know, wedding, marriages. It fell apart because just like the male counterparts. In a heterosexual world, women cheat on women as well. So that was like the main theme of the article. But what people criticized Lena Waite for was that she was one of the top people who had broke that ceiling. She won an Emmy and the wedding was supposed to be like a big deal. They seemed to be a loving couple. And then all of a sudden she shows up in various red carpet events with Cynthia Revo. At this time, the movie Harriet was being nominated for Oscars, including Cynthia Revo herself for Best Actress. Many people who were Ados FBA gave it two middle fingers up because they were like, you called us Akata and you like tweets of referencing black Americans as Akata. So F you, B, we don't want to support it. And when she lost the Oscar to Renee Zellweger, many FBAs and Ados gave a huge round of applause. I was one of them myself, I must say. But anyway, the whispers died down mainly because of the woo-woo that came up. So it left many people's consciousness or it never went in their minds in the first place. However, this article from page six's New York Post was written on June the 17th of this year and it was exclusive. And it reads, Lena Waithe and Cynthia Revo seen holding hands at Gallup. Lena Waithe and Cynthia Rebo appeared to confirm long-running rumors that they're dating. The pair showed up at the out to the Alvin Ailey Spirit Gala together Thursday night and took pictures separately on the red carpet. But page six spotted them walking into the auditorium at Lincoln Center hands in hand. There has been speculation for about two years that Wade 38 and Revo 35 are a couple, but they've never acknowledged the status of the relationship. The shy creator Wade wed movie executive Alana Mayo in November of three years ago. But they split after only two months of marriage. In November 2020, Mayo, 38, filed for a divorce from Wade. They're releasing a statement at the time saying, After careful thought and consideration, we have decided to part ways. We have nothing but support for one another and ask that you respect our privacy during this time. Arivo, for her part, was previously romantically linked to British singer and actor Dean John Wilson and Mario Martinez. 
And that is true. Wade and Arivo first connected in May 2018 when the latter posted a photo on her Instagram page with the caption, I finally found my sis, Lena. You are absolutely everything. You are perfection. What a meeting of the minds. Glad to have you in my life. Stuck like glue. Shine, queen, shine. The Chicago native and the British actress have, seen, have been seen on multiple red carpets and have sat together at various award shows, including last week's Tonys. Arivo starred in the Broadway play The Color Purple from 2015 to 2017 and went on to portray Harriet Tubman in the biopic Harriet. She has won an Emmy, a Grammy, and a Tony and has been nominated for two Oscars. Her latest role is El Fave El Fava in the upcoming John M. Chu directed movie adaptation of the Broadway classic R Wicked, co-starring Aria, Ariana Grande as Glinda, the Good Witch. Meanwhile, Wait, meanwhile, made history in 2017 as the first black woman to win an Emmy for outstanding writing for a comedy series for her work on Master of None. Amy Poehler, Lorraine Toussaint, Amy Sherrill, and Jillian Hervey also attended the Ailey Spirit Gala. Okay? Now, I'm going to talk to you about my opinions because... I'm going to post the article and you're going to see the video that shows they are a couple. There's no denying it. There's the photo of them. There's no denying it. Okay. Now. Let's be real. Lena Waithe wouldn't have anything to lose. Because she one of the top women in the country. Who are who is a producer and she's LGBTQ and she's a black woman and she is powerful. Okay? So ain't nothing gonna happen to her. Her career. She's already married to a woman. It is what it is. But Cynthia Revo will have more to lose. Because Cynthia Revo, number one, yes, she's from England, but she's also Nigerian. And her being Nigerian. African, they frown upon anything that's LGBTQ in their culture. So, in a day and age where it's acceptable and it's not a stigma to be openly LGBTQ, for her to not say anything about it, it shows that the people that are behind her, and it's and I think it's not just family. I also think the people that are in part of her team. They don't want to lose money if she comes out. Because I'm not saying that she's lesbian. I think she's just queer. I feel as though she's always given me queer vibes. It is what it is. I never had an issue with it. My issue with her was her liking tweets that called foundational black Americans slash Ados people a kata. I didn't like that. That was cruel. And I felt she shouldn't have played Harriet because of that. Now, the ex-wife, because they finalized their divorce in 2021. And when they finalized it, they're now, their status is now legally deemed single. They restored their whole status on May 24th of 2021 with agreement for spousal support and divided up property and other assets. Alana Mayo is very powerful behind the scenes. She is the president of Orion Pictures. And we know all us 80 kids, we went to go see movies with the Orion logo. This woman's father played a very important role in my life. He was the director, radio executive of my all-time favorite radio station, WRKS 98.7 KISS FM. The first station in New York and pretty much the East Coast to play rap and he became the general manager later on of RKO General which is like RKO for, um, RKO um, pictures and things of that nature and that's a big deal and she's a person that graduated from Columbia University unlike her ex graduated from Columbia College Chicago this woman is a huge player. They, She's making millions. So really, Alana, I would say, 
God has more power in the industry than Lena Waite. Now check this out. If you know, not Lena Waite, Cynthia Erivo. Now check this out. If you notice, after 2020, Cynthia Erivo ain't really made that many movies. She ain't made that many movies like she did when she first arrived to the U.S. You don't think the ex-wife black, black, have her black balls? And many people thought it was just because she played Harriet. How does a Oscar, a two-time Oscar nominee hardly get any work? You know? Come on, let's be real. Let, let's look at this. And let's be real. The lockdown didn't do all that damage to people getting work. Because they just halted production. That's all they did. But if you signed on before, you still had employment. It was just on pause. Ever since they've been accused of being a couple, this woman has had, in terms of jobs, one, two. Three, four, five. Five. Five rolls. Mind you, you know the color purple movie? That is being made and it's going to be it's, it's, started, it's currently being filmed and it's going to be released the end of next year. She's not even in it. And she won a Tony. They put Fantasia in it, rightfully so, but she's not in it. You not going to sit here and tell me that Alana Mayo or the people that Alana Mayo worked for with the power that they have did not get this girl blackballed. You can't tell me that because of what happened. I mean, I'm not saying that Cynthia Revo necessarily broke up the marriage, but the timing doesn't look right. And after only two months, they filed for separation. Come on. And then she got to see her spouse that she was with for years be booed up with another woman. And how she wasn't even out the closet. And how she, you know, the stigma of being a femme, black, lesbian, with power, or with influence, risking a lot of things. And then you gotta, I gotta see you with her? With her? Oh, hell no. Yeah, I think there was some, you know, behind the scenes calls. Like, look here, you want. I, yeah, she that girl for right now but once this whole thing with this promotion of this movie blackballing starts in effect okay it's in effect after this movie promotion wraps up after Oscar season whatever in effect operation blackball cause you are not gonna play me like that you're not going to play me like that. Like, my wife is very powerful. I get it. I can't really do anything about that. But even Lena ain't really popping so much like she used to. It's some things, but Alana's popping behind the scenes. So, let me know how you feel about this topic, your opinions or whatever. Do you think that Lena Waithe left her wife for Cynthia Revo? Do you think she was a cause of them breaking up? Do you think they are together? I say definitely do you really care? Do you think Cynthia Rebo won't come out because of her being Nigerian and the people investing in her career have big goals to make money off of her and they fear that her coming out as a British African lesbian will ruin her brand? Let me know your thoughts. And also, if you haven't done so, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment, like, share, and I'll talk to you soon. Later.